Hi everyone, welcome back. So our responsive web design for our data consultants landing page is complete. And the last thing uh, that's not related to responsive web design, but uh, the last thing what I would do is auto prefix for all of my CSS code. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, all these extent these these properties which we have put in here, you know, some of the properties will not work on all the browsers. Yeah. So now which properties will work and which properties you need to like, you know, auto prefix for other uh, uh, browsers. So do you really need to remember that? Well, I don't, you know, there is handy tool available, extension available uh, for this particular thing. So we can get use uh, of that. So first of all, in your extensions, uh, I showed it in the, uh, when we were setting up the environment, but just check that in your installed, uh, extensions you should be having this auto prefixer installed if it is not there just search for it auto prefixer and you should be getting an option of installing here i have already installed it so i'm getting the option of uninstall all right okay so now the next thing before we actually uh, start doing it start uh, auto prefixing our css code and i don't need my index.html and let me first of all close these as well so i always you know keep my uh, original code or original css which i have written as a backup because the auto prefixing is something which i would do really in the last and if i need to refer back to my original code or all the original properties which i have written so i should be having a backup of that i find it easy like you know it's it's not something which is mandatory but uh, it is something which I usually do because once we have auto prefixed it, so all of the properties then like, you know, kind of there, there would be a lot and I would show you uh, in a second. So in my CSS, I will create a new file and I would say style backup.css and let me from my style all of this CSS copy and just put it in this one yeah so now this is my style and this is my media queries and for media queries also i have this backup already with me yeah so now to auto prefix open up the file yeah select the whole thing select the all the code by pressing command a or control a whichever operating system you are working on and go to view and command palette yeah the shortcut for that is shift command p or shift control p i guess on windows just go for it and search for auto prefixer and run and the moment you do that so you would see that some of the properties now uh having this like you know earlier we only defined the box sizing but now there is a web kit box sizing as well yeah over here also if we go further down not all the properties only where it is required so see the transform properties now having ms also and that's for internet explorer and this is having web kit as well yeah so that's i guess for uh mozilla all right so now uh, you can see like you know your visual studio code wherever the auto prefixing is required for whichever property it would do this job for you so that's the reason like you know i really don't do it in the beginning i just write the standard properties and then let visual studio take care of the rest so let me save it and now let me go back to my media queries.css again command a shift command p or from view command palette and run this auto prefixer it's already there so i just click on it and i would see wherever it is required it would put the prefixed properties only where it is required if uh, anywhere it is not required so it's not gonna, gonna put in there then so it's still the same i can't see anything so nothing was required so these are simple properties where no they, they work pretty much on all the browsers so only where like you know, if any of the property is not working properly and a prefix is there so yeah in our media queries i couldn't find anything ah all right so for the background for 
uh, over here O is for opera so for that uh, we have this background image linear gradient as well and O linear gradient as well yeah so there it was defined so let me save it and if I go back to my browser so anyway everything is gonna work fine no issues and now you can test it uh, your website on all the browsers you know like internet explorer uh, mozilla and safari wherever you want to test it so your website should be working pretty much on all the browsers yeah and now let me actually okay let me close this and let's see i'm gonna take it to this minimum size 500 pixels everything is okay over here yeah about us our services section and then the code the numbers meet our team yeah contact us form and my footer and as i go back so yeah everything is working absolutely fine all right so this is the end of this section the responsive web design for data consultants website landing page which we did with the help of the floats so thank you so much for being with me and i'll see you in the next one